Today we're going to fix a gate spring. I bought two of them and uh, the problem is this one here when I went to try and install it uh, it just fell apart. So if you take a look on this one of course you can see where it says you know this is the direction of the turn and uh, here it is here. So it is stamped you know for the top and when you get down to the bottom here this just turns. Now you could see that this is the type of type of uh, connection that they have here that's almost like a press fit and you know it's very substandard. I'm going to fix that. I'm going to weld this right here and if you take a look at the top here they have this great big giant nut and the whole idea behind this is they give you a little piece of flat stock to stick in here so it doesn't unwind and that's how most of the styles are made and this one here I think is a very poor design because of this so I'm going to weld this up and then I'm going to do something to the top here that's much different because the spot that I was trying to put this in had very poor access and as I tightened it up with my wrench and you could see you know you can't go on with a big wrench like this because you can't fit the pin in so you have to actually just use an open wrench and what I had to do was put this on the back side here to hold it from stopping from uh, unwinding and that's when the bottom just let loose after it was already installed so I'm going to show some improvements here and something that you've probably never seen before when it comes to the top which I think is a better design let's get to it right now and uh, let's start doing some welding okay so there's the, uh, the spot you can see I've bared it all here and I did have to bear the uh, back side of this just to get a ground for my ground plant so I figure if we just put a tack right here that'll be good enough a lot better than what it was so let's just do that okay there we go right there so let's get on to the top side and see what I'm gonna do there okay you guys can see exactly what I'm doing now I just put a nut on the top and I buried it all down now I'm just going to tack the nut on the sides and I picked one that had a flange on the bottom to make it easier for welding Okay, I'm going to tack it over here next, then I'll bring it back when I weld on the inside. Okay, this time I'm just going to have a plunge right down through the center and just bring it up and uh, hopefully it grabs. There you go, right there. Okay, let's take a look up close and see how I did here. And you can see on this one here, that's going to hold it down there, no problem. Now let's take a look at the other end. And guys, what do you think of that? Now, of course, I had to uh, actually get the grinder out and just take some of the weld slag off the side of the nut there. But you can see this will fit on here now. I can put an extension on and I can still take the key that comes with it that goes in the back side to stop it from unwinding. So I'm going to paint this up and let's put it on my gate and I'll show you that I'm using this in the opposite way that it was designed for but I'm doing it for a specific purpose. Okay, pretty windy out here but I'll show you how this is supposed to go. You're supposed to just put it in a bit and then put this key in and you're supposed to keep winding it up and then put the key back in, right? Well, you can't do it with a ratchet, you have to actually go with a wrench because you have to hold it in between. So I'll show you on the big wrench what it looked like and I'll show you a small wrench. So you can see here with the big wrench, you haven't got too much 
wing here either way. And we'll put the, uh, the small one on here. You stick the small one on and you got more. So you have to actually pull the key out, go to the next cog, and then put it in to stop it from winding back. So I'll get it all installed and then I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay, so when you're finished, what all I did was, as I moved this ahead, I put a screwdriver in the back side just to hold it. And then when I got enough tension, you just put this plate in the back. And what it does is it stops the nut from going backwards. You can see how it's jammed in there. So let's take a look and let's see how the gate swings now. But I want to show you, most times you're going to see people put these gates, uh, uh, automatic return springs, on the back side of their gate. Let's take a look and see what I've done. Well, if you walk up to my gate, you can hardly even see that there's a spring there. Yeah, there it is, right in there, compared to on the back side. I like it in that position a lot better, and it seems to work great. So let's see how it works when you uh, unlatch the uh, gate, and it goes by itself. Okay, here we are right here. Let's just unlatch it. There it goes right there. Okay, so now a lot of you are thinking, hold on a second, I thought them springs were meant to keep your gate closed, not keep it open. Well, you know what? I don't need a spring to keep the gate closed. I designed mine for the idea of having the, uh, the spring hidden in the corner there. As you close the gate, you can hardly even see it. And for me, the idea is a couple of times, Guess what? You go out there, you open up the gate, and the gate would close behind you if you had the spring on the other side. And in my experience, just me and the wife and my daughter here, we don't need to have the gate closed behind us all the time. And you know what? Think about it. You open it up and the gate opens for you. Common sense, if you want to keep the gate closed, you know it's open, right? You just go behind it and close it. And I found that the latch, if you notice the kind of latch I had on the top there, twice we've come out in the backyard, guess what happened? The gate was loose. It was open. And I thought, well, somebody was in the backyard? What happened there? A couple of times, yes, that latch has no tension on it. And the wind would just blow it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth and it would just open up on its own. And I thought, that's awful strange. So we decided, do we want to have the gate open or have the gate closed when you attach the spring? So if you want the gate to be closed all the time, so when you go inside, it's pushing against you, well, you can put it on the inside. You put it on the outside, and it will open the gate for you. And that's what we wanted, open the gate for us. And as we put our hand on top, and you just pull the lever, yeah, there's now there's some tension there, and it'll keep the gate closed. So thanks for joining me here today. I hope you like this, I guess, a little bit of an experience and uh, of uh, gate springs. And I've got this one here. And, you know, the reason why I bought two is a lot of times you want quite a bit of spring power, so you can add two. So if you wanted to put two on, you could, and it will actually make a lot of force to either open it or close it. So thanks for joining me here today. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. Come back again. Let's have some more fun. Cheers.